So one of the big things that I need in a streetcar is a decent radio. It doesn't have to be like a banging sound system, but I need at least need something I can listen to. Now the speakers in the Supra were all crackly, uh, sounded blown out, and you know, it had this old 1985 cassette player in here. Garbage. So I decided I'm gonna put a good system in it, uh, new speakers, and a new head unit. And it was all still crackling and sounded like garbage. So the first thing I did was I took all the speakers that I bought out and I tested them on the Mustang because I did put a stereo on the Mustang and all the speakers sound great. So I know all the speakers are good. Tested the head unit itself with a speaker hooked up to each one still sounded good that led me to believe there's some wiring issues with this car so now i got to find out what they are so this is a factory driver's side glove compartment panel uh some of them come with a tiny speaker up front here so we stuck a what is this like a, a five and a half inch speaker right there and then it had these three and a half inch speakers behind here and basically i just cut the plastic down and put a four inch speaker in there and I'm going to do the same thing on the driver's side as well uh, cut that plastic down put a four inch speaker in it now in the back of the car we just put some uh, five and a quarter inch speakers in right there and there some cheap little three ways but you know obviously they'll be way but they should be way better than uh, the factory junk that was in there so now I need to figure out why it's still crackling well, figuring out why it was crackling took a lot less time than expected. Uh, unfortunately, I can't play audio while recording, but it was it was really really stupid. Well, I was going through I was going through all the wires back here and how I have everything hooked up and wired, and then down here I have these wires that were ran like I didn't do any of this stuff, but these were ran to that kicker, that little sub box or mini speaker right there. And then these ones were ran to the speaker over here. And then I was looking over here and noticed, okay, well, these two wires here go to this right here. But while I was over here, I noticed I have a teal and blue wire that go to the speakers. Somebody thought it would be a good idea to bridge those together. I don't know why anybody would ever do that. Luckily, it's on this connector deal, so literally I just unplugged this and the sound system sounds great now. Why the hell would anybody do that? Unless they were trying to wire something else in and didn't know those were speakers. Maybe they thought it was like a ground bypass for a light or something like that. Oh my gosh, some people just shouldn't touch electrical or wire cars. And I say this while that's how my glove box looks, but go check out my Mustang. My Mustang's wired really, really nice. Well, that's all back together now. I do need to make a little bracket to hold this in here a little bit better, I think. It's kind of just wedged in there right now. Uh, I forgot to plug that in, too. Not like it matters. That doesn't even matter. There's no light in there anymore, anyways. Sweet. One more speaker to go. Okay, so I dropped this side down. Now I'm just going to... I already unscrewed this speaker, but I'm going to get this out. Cut this plastic down. Mount the 4-inch in it then put it back in those four inch speakers that i put in there are noticeably louder than the three and a half so it should be a good uh good little gain so while i was cutting this i accidentally uh cut the corner off there kind of needed that to uh mount that corner and the other one i just bent it over but uh looks like we're gonna three screw mount it just bend the tabs over there that one into the factory mounting and then drill a hole, mount that one there. I mean, it it should work fine for what I need. 
uh, I'm not concerned about it enough to go buy another one. So I'm gonna drill those out and screw it in, put it back in, see how it fits. So we got it all mounted on there now, but we do have an issue. It is touching right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and clearance that out a little bit more so it's not touching on the actual speaker. That way it doesn't rattle. So with a little bit more trimming and fitting, they don't rest on the cone anymore. It sits on that plastic ridge along the outside. Now I'm gonna go ahead, bolt them back in. I really wish I didn't have to cut that plastic off of there because I didn't have to do it on that side over there. But it is what it is. I'm gonna screw these back on, bolt it up. All right, well, I got the kick panel reinstalled. Everything's wired up. Tested out the radio. Sounds 50 times better than it did before. So it was all just because of that one wire that was jumped for some reason. But uh, the rear speakers were stock, so it's a good thing I swapped those out. Uh, I mean, this wasn't really much of a build video, just throwing some speakers in the car and keeping you guys updated with what's going on while I wait for some more parts. So that's going to be it for this one. So subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like the video if you liked it. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.